Hi, I'm recording this video for my A-level electronics students who from time to time need to do some assembly programming using MPLAB X IDE and what I would like to briefly show you is how you can view program memory, the contents of file registers and the contents of the special function registers when you are simulating your code. So first of all, let's just check that we are simulating so we can click the project properties over here and sure enough, we've the hardware tool that's selected is the simulator. Okay, we could, if we want, um, we could say, for example, click uh, that uh, picket three, which is plugged into my computer, or picket four, if that's what we're using. Okay. Uh, anyway, we've uh, we've got the simulator selected for the moment. So now uh, let's just click window and target memory views, and let's have a quick look at the program memory. We're not going to look at this in any depth. I just want you to be aware that it exists. And I don't particularly like the view down here, particularly for longer programs. So it's more convenient to you if you drag that across, stick that over there like that. OK, uh, things that would be quite important to check would be that at address zero, you've got the instruction that um, address zero is the reset vector that you've got the instruction that you're actually expecting. And similarly, at address four, if you're using uh, sorry address four, uh, that that's the uh, interrupt vector that you've got the instruction that you're expecting there. Now, sometimes this disassembly column can be a little bit confusing because the uh, the MPLAB XIDE doesn't have an awareness of uh, which bank you're, current, you're currently in. So sometimes uh, some of these, like for example, INCON may or may not be correct. Okay, but don't worry about that point too much. If you're in any doubt about that I can explain that in more depth in the classroom uh, and if you're not one of my students just post a comment if you'd like uh, a bit more of a detailed explanation there anyway I find that's really quite useful uh, because then you can actually check that the code is uh, getting loaded into the right places in memory uh, as I say particularly the reset vector and the uh, interrupt vector that's really important OK, and then so I said we could also have a look at the uh, file registers. So once again, click Window, Target Memory Views and go to File Registers. Now the file registers, for example, uh, let's say if yeah we've got a, uh, a, con a C block here, which is just declaring symbolic constants. Uh, so temp is a symbol that refers to a number that is 70 hexadecimal. And if you want, you can use these as uh, literal values. You can also use them to refer to memory addresses as well. Um, so really, that where I've said starting address, that should actually be starting number, but it's a bit pedantic point. Um, OK, so uh, how would we use the file registers? Well, what you can do as your code is running, you can actually see, like for example, 70, you'll actually be able to see that when something is saved in uh, the address 70, you'll actually be able to see that that's memory slot there. So 70, OK, there, that is actually then filled up with the data that you are writing to that particular memory location. So and if you have breakpoints in your code, then it's like really, really convenient to use. By the way, that one seems to keep on popping uh, back hiding. I think if we click that thing, I think that's going to keep it in place. OK. Uh, and equally, you can collapse them down like that. OK, so we're not using uh, and uh, I think, yeah, one of these. Yeah, that one. I knew I was going to click the wrong one. That one makes it bigger. That one probably makes it. No, it doesn't. OK, let's get rid of that. All right. Um, OK, so program memory, file registers and last but not least, in fact, very important is special function registers. Target memory views, special function registers. And so let's. Let's drag this one over here. You can, by the way, you can you can drag them wherever you like. Okay. Uh, so, for example, the working file register, um, the status register, port A, port B, um, and then we'll also have tris A and tris B down there. Okay. So it's really uh, really useful to be able to monitor these. By the way, the values that are in here at the moment are probably meaningless as we're not actually running this simulation at the moment. So what we do, we go down to the main uh, block of code here. And let's say at a breakpoint, I just click there. Now we just run the code, run the simulator. And you'll see now the program counter is there. That's where we are. OK. And for some reason, I'm not sure why, uh, the special function registers has now, for some reason, um, decided to hide its contents. Let's just close that one. 
That's strange, isn't it? I don't know whether that is some bug in the system. So let's just click window. I've never known that happened before. So uh, typical, isn't it? Special function registers. That's strange, isn't it? So yeah, okay. So it seems like it's working down here. Uh, maybe a good reason not to be using MPLAB XID version 5.30, which actually I've upgraded to the uh, newer one, 5.45, but the 5.45 uses a different compiler, XCAS. But anyway, that's uh, getting off the point. So, uh, all right, okay, so at this point in time, the we haven't yet loaded this value into the working file register. So let's see, working file register has all zeros. So if I just step over this by pressing F7, uh, you'll see now that that has loaded uh, one into the working file register. And then you can step through as well, okay? So let's have a quick look at Trispy. By the way, you can, you can actually search for these. So I could type, for example, Trispy if you don't want to scroll on down. So there we go. So Trispy is currently loaded with all ones. And the next line that's going to execute is actually going to load whatever is in the working file register, which was that one, um, is going to be loaded into Trispy. So let's just step over that. Uh, so now Trispy, Trispy is now loaded with the um, with one. OK, so hopefully you will make use of that. So that was just to remind you, click window, click target memory views, program memory, file registers and special function registers. Um, it's a bit weird that this panel is not working at the moment. I've never seen that before, but hopefully that's not going to happen to you. And if you know why that is, um, then please do comment below. Okay, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.